Rebecca Hellman, please. I see. Uh, when do you expect her? Will you tell her Ted Liss returned her call? Uh, I'll call back in an hour or she can call me on my service again. Thank you. are the secure, dependable way to make your money grow for all your future dreams. So take stock in America. Buy bonds. They help you build a great foundation. Ted, take that second line, use the well, here's the answer, and break the payroll savings plan from the bonds. Okay? Okay, let's put one down. The start if you're going to take it quietly, a threat in the bottom. The flower of the earth be dry from here through here because they know it's the soul. So that's immediately. There has to be a physical threat, a real physical threat. All right, that's number one. So we're going from an internal to an internal. Two, if he's going to woo her, he's got to woo her with this. I'm not saying he's going to use with being as ugly to her as possible. Fairly. Put her on. Let her know that you are putting her on. The use and the sharing of yourself creates a tremendous satisfaction. If I've been on and we have shared that night, we are all completely exhausted, but so exhilarated you can't go home. I'm always frightened when I start to teach. I'm also excited. Sometimes I will encourage a frustration and almost a dislike of me at the moment. I'd be willing to risk that, not knowing whether I will say the right things. That's the gamble. Yeah. I only have me to fall back on. To have the gift of being able to affect other people, either one-to-one -one or en masse, and to know you have the power, is a humbling experience. When people look at you and say, give to me, and you don't know at times whether there's anything to give, I'm frightened, and I will say that. You are training hard for a career, no matter where that takes you, for a base that can last you 40 or 50 or 60 years. If you're not ready to pay the dues to do that, get out. Get out. There can be no self-indulgence ever in our profession. And you cannot live a personal life. You are going in a profession which will spit you out very fast if you do not do the work. Because most of the people whom you see out on the coast of television don't last that long. They're used up pretty darn fast. Challenge yourself. Search. When you start to feel comfortable, know that something's wrong, very wrong. Some of you are starting to learn that. Because you are involved in the intense communication of every part of yourself. That's all you have. That's you. All the beautiful things. All the warm things. All the hatreds. And own those. Own them. My whole time here, so much of it, is spent trying to get some passion out of you. Some courage. 
That's why many people end up leaving here and hating my guts, but working. Do you understand? But working. I don't know what a father is. I don't really know, and I have no experience ever of what a mother was. Tell me, what's the social life like down there? Social life? Yeah, yeah you're on your own for the first time. Uh, you don't have to report in or anything like that. My two sons and I are developing a friendship. That I find very gratifying. As my older son says, I am just getting used to coming back and seeing you. They are each strong survivors. They like me at times because I demand of myself that I grow. I don't need them to live. I would like to share with them when they wish to share. Why? I look so funny in them. I think every guy who ever wore ballet tights, I, I wore them too. What looks funny. And, well, uh, so what do the kings do? What do the kings do? We uh, laugh. One took care. We had to make a drawing on some paper to find out where our steps were going to be. Yeah. We forgot. So we took some chalk and drew it on the floor and just broke the dance <laughs> kings in front. The teacher must have loved that. Oh, she laughed. Yeah, well, at least she had a sense of humor. People I took ballet from had no sense of humor whatsoever. Because a monologue is a dialogue with yourself. So you're involved with everything that's happened to you inside you. All the theater is intensify this. What you have to say as a human being. And you got frightened of that, didn't you? And you got hurt. And that's what I was aware of. And that's why I, Ted, not Sid, Ted put his hand out to me. Because you gave me those feelings of need for the moment. I haven't had an intimate friend since my cousin died six years ago. Not really one. I have spent my life shutting out other people. You know, it is no accident that I've been married twice. And I have failed twice. The point is, in terms of the human relationship, one seven years and one ten years. I failed to keep a relationship and grow with the relationship. now that I want to be loved on a one-to-one -one basis, but it's taken an awful lot of years. It's all right for me now to let people in. Right. 
I felt like it was poison, you know, I told you that. I felt like it was going in there and poisoning my soul for a certain amount of money every night. And it was taking me out of me and giving me, you know. Okay, so now what do you want? Well, I want to um, be able to focus my energy on what I've been spending all this time on acting, you know. Okay. And writing. And oh. I don't want to be... What's bothering you? This is more important than the show. You say, that, this is what you want. Now, what, what, what's stopping you? Right? I just... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, say, I just feel like a failure. I just don't have faith in what myself. What does a failure feel like, honey? I just don't have faith. My friends have faith in me. A lot of people have faith in me, but I just have this terrible mind inside that I can't live up to my expectations of myself. It's, it's very easy words I'm saying to you, but have fun. Well, you go into this because you want to communicate. I know. And if you take off any expectations of being terrible, those are all quality words and judgmental words, and you're putting them on yourself. And you and me, uh, let other people, other people right. who are judged badly anyway half the time. Right. And you say you're scared? I I'm say, very scared. All right. I'm not scared. scared. All right. I'm scared, too. I get very, very frightened. First thing is, number one, you think being scared is all right? I'm an actor mm -hmm. dealing with other potential actors who may be far more creative than I am. When they break through, when they find for themselves and can own what they're learning, when they go so far and are ready to win for themselves, they run away from winning. And that happens more often. I, mean, I, I, I know that's difficult, but it's I'm sad for that. It might feel bad. Yeah, it's like it's them and yeah. me, and I set up these yeah. barriers, and it's, and it's not, not them. fair. And it's not, it's not a war. No, it's not. They want. It's like I know they want to like me, and I know they want to use me, but I, I play these trips, and I don't know how to get out of playing these trips, but I think I'm getting better. <laughs> I think okay. I am getting better. Because you, know? you always work better. Oh, 
Entonces, 